What is self-esteem and how is it determined? Self-esteem is a familiar concept to many of us. But how do psychologists define it? Self-esteem is an evaluation of the self, of one's positive and negative qualities. For example, I'm the best at what I do versus I have no skills. It maps onto the A of the ABCs of psychology. It is the effective, emotional part of the social self, how we feel about ourselves. It also involves the C of psychology, cognition, attitudes, thinking, our attitude about ourselves. Psychologists measure self-esteem in at least two ways. The most common is to measure people's global self-esteem, how they feel about themselves generally speaking and across situations. They may also measure domain-specific self-esteem or how people feel about themselves in specific domains like work or school. You may be the best employee in the company but still working on your skills in the classroom. As you have probably experienced, your self-esteem can fluctuate over the lifespan. Some researchers have found evidence of gender and race differences. Kling and colleagues found small gender differences, with men scoring higher in self-esteem. Gray Little and colleagues found race differences, with black Americans scoring higher than white Americans. As you might expect, self-esteem is positively correlated with positive life outcomes like happiness, productivity, and success. However, due to the limitations of the research, we are not sure about causation. Which comes first? Does high self-esteem cause success or does success cause high self-esteem? Some researchers caution against spending too much energy working directly on self-esteem. It could increase as you grow in happiness, productivity, or success.